of the year is set to streak across the sky tonight and into tomorrow morning. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks has a preview live from the observatory in Gilbert, a great place to catch the sights, but you don't need to hang around an observatory to see the show. Trisha, when is the best time to catch this? Good morning, guys. Live out here in Gilbert. So starting tonight, but tomorrow morning, actually between midnight and sunrise, that's your best bet for catching. Let me try it. Quadrantes? Quadrantes, yes. Quadrantes. <laughs> it's a hard one to say. Yeah, so right. where exactly should we be looking in the sky? Toward the north around the Big Dipper. And the Big Dipper rises uh, around uh, 11 o'clock or so. So you'll see it just high in the northern sky. Claude's out here with us, the observatory manager. So showing us all this fancy equipment. They have this amazing telescope out here. And it's all made possible through SRP, the Rotary Club. And you don't need fancy equipment like this to see the meteor shower tonight and into tomorrow morning. But it's really fun to kind of expand everyone's knowledge on what you have here to offer. Well, we're open every Friday and Saturday evening, weather permitting, from sunset till 930. So we invite the public to come out and take a look through the telescope and see the moon, planet, double stars, open clusters, uh, the uh, Orion Nebula is a great thing for the winter sky, all sorts of things. And to come back through the course of the year as the sky rotates around, you'll see different stars, different things to see. Wonderful. So can we open this box again sure. to show our viewers? This is a really neat kind of show and tell piece, if you will. What are we looking at? It's just a sample meteorite. It's nickel iron, so it's highly magnetic. And you can see that it just pulls up there, but is fairly heavy. Uh, so most uh, meteorites are nickel iron or stonies. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. There's a very large collection at ASU, and if you go to their center, they have some beautiful specimen on display, and they have one of the largest collections in the country. That's fantastic. So when we first stepped in, we're in this dome on the Riparian Preserve here, and you have a computer hooked up to the telescope, and you can see some of the, the stars here. You can line them up. When people come on the weekends, you are open for um, public viewing, right? Right. So the computer controls the telescope and points and tracks so that it compensates for the movement of the Earth, so it will keep the image steady. And then the dome opens and rotates around to let us uh, be able to see any spot in the sky. It's so fun to step in here. You can see the dome is open, and you can see, is that Jupiter? I know we were looking at Venus and we're Jupiter. At Venus is a very bright one. Down near the moon is Jupiter, and then the very last bit of the waning crescent moon. It'll be new moon in a couple of days, and so that's why it's a good time to see the meteor shower, because the moon won't interfere with things that are very faint. Meteor showers themselves are basically the dust from comets that have uh, passed through the sky, and as the Earth rotates around in its yearly circle around the sun, we'll bump into that trail of dust, and that's what's happening here. Most of the things that you see are very, very tiny. They're not large like uh, the uh, meteorite sample we looked at. Uh, they're just tiny dip bits of de uh, dust and debris left over from the comets. Well, thank you so much for the Astronomy 101. It's really fun to get a dose of knowledge, right? So keep your eye to the sky and get ready for the first meteor shower of the year. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks so much, Trisha. We appreciate that. We'll certainly be looking up at the sky tonight to see what we can see.